Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. So today I've got another Planet Zoo speed build for you and this one is a beaver habitat, obviously using the new North America DLC that has recently been released. So I'm super excited to be looking at the beavers in Planet Zoo because I've seen what they look like from I think the trailer and a couple of other creators content and some of the animations for the beavers look absolutely amazing. So if you're interested in what the animals themselves look like then I do include some cinematic shots at the end of this video where I spend a bit of time just watching the beavers as well as some of the cinematics of the finished build as well yeah and we have some beaver babies and they are adorable they are so pudgy and cute and watching them swim is the funniest thing ever so I highly recommend sticking around until the end of the video to check that out also just FYI this build is on the workshop as a habitat or an Closures, and I have linked it in the video description down below in case you are interested in putting it in your game so yeah feel free to download that and for those of you who are new to my channel this is a relatively new zoo that we are building in it's called Pine Springs Park and the idea behind it is that it's a nature reserve kind of national park style zoo set within a very very natural environment in the Canadian landscape as it follows the course of a mountain or the course of a river down a mountain so we've got lots and lots of cliff faces and waterfalls and things like that beautiful Canadian scenery and a lot of the enclosures are really big as well and they look quite wild in appearance so that's the style that we're going for and I know I said in my previous moose habitat video that I was going to join the beaver and the moose habitat together but this habitat ended up being so huge that I didn't want there to be any chance that the beavers want to go into the moose enclosure because then they just wouldn't be any anywhere near their dam or their little lodge that I created for them so I also thought that the keepers would be blocked by the water if I merged the two habitats because I wasn't very smart in how I set it out and so yeah they wouldn't be able to access most of the terrain because I think you can only have one door to a habitat so I've kept them separated for now but if you are really really interested in having some other animals with the beavers or some other animals with the moose then let me know and I might be able to sort of duplicate some of the animals I could put some of the moose in the beaver habitat as well and they, they would just be like two separate moose habitats going on so that's an option so let me know down in the comments below if you're really interested in that and I will do that and then add the footage to another video perhaps in the future if that's what you want. So my overall design for this habitat was guided a lot by just some basic research that I did on what beaver habitats look like in the wild and what their dams and their lodges look like so obviously the beaver dam is the sort of <laughs> area of sticks that they use to sort of block off water in a river or a lake or something so what they do is they use a lot of stones and mud and branches and things like that to create the dams and then rise the water levels by obviously blocking off the water flow so one of the reasons why they do this is to flood the woodlands around the lake that they're in and that means that they can have swimming access to and from the trees that they use to do this they obviously eat a lot of wood and and foliage that is on and around trees so they have swimming access to all of the branches that they need for their lodge for their dam for their food and that means that they can get away from predators quicker because they're faster underwater than they are on land obviously so it protects them when they're collecting their wood by raising the water levels and then they also sort of separate from their dam they also have what is called a lodge and that's where they sleep and they are kept safe in the winter away from predators and this is basically just a mound of sticks and mud and stones again so within their lodge they do have a section that is risen above water so they can actually breathe and rest and be dry and warm but the access to the lodge is underwater so that protects them from predators because they can sort of get in and out by swimming and animals might not necessarily be able to get to their lodge that way and you'll see later on in the video that I've tried to replicate that best as I can in this habitat so I have created the lodge on this mound of land so that is risen above water and they can access it they can get in and out but I don't think the entrance is quite underwater in the same way that it would be in real life but I've put some bedding in there for them and they do use it quite a lot I've got quite a lot of footage of them sleeping in there at the end of the video in the cinematic shots like I mentioned and in this short documentary that I watched specifically they also mentioned that sometimes muskrats can live in beaver lodges too and I think 
they were speculating that the beavers let them stay in their lodges in exchange for the muskrats bringing in fresh bedding for their lodge to keep it clean and yeah and get rid of the old bedding so I thought that was a really cute idea that they might help each other out in that way and the other thing I learned that I didn't actually use to influence this build in any way although I really should have because it would have been a cute idea but it was that beavers store a lot of branches and foliage which is obviously their food and they store it in areas within the lake so in the cold water and the cold water then acts as a fridge so that they can continue to eat and remain active over winter time and still have food so like I said I should have added a little area in my lake where there were some branches and things under the water because that would have been really cute but I didn't think of it at the time so oh well but yeah in terms of this habitat build then it's actually huge <laughs> despite the beavers being such small animals and them not needing much space at all for their enclosures but I was quite torn between having a realistic landscape like I say within what is our nature reserve zoo where all of the enclosures just look like natural looking Canadian landscape and the animals are kind of in their natural environment and I thought that it would be realistic for the beavers to have this huge expanse of water because that's what they're trying to create isn't it they're trying to create this big lake and so that's where they're going to choose to live especially in Canada where they have some absolutely gorgeous huge lakes and I thought we should have at least one really big lake within the zoo and although we did have one in the moose habitat I thought it would make most sense that the biggest lake like I say was with beavers because they would have created it with their dam and then you can see in the moose habitat that there's also quite a high water level in there with like the big lake in in the moose habitat so it does make sense <laughs> So that's the way that I've done it. And I do expand the water as I'm talking. The lake area in the beaver habitat isn't currently as big as it does get by the end of the video. So there is quite a big lake and that's why I just wanted it to look really natural. But I do still think that I could have pushed back the dam just a little bit so that it was closer to the viewing gallery. It just would have made it look a lot neater and all of the screenshots would have been a bit nicer and everything like that. But it's just so difficult to judge scale in this game sometimes. I swear where I always make huge enclosures, especially when you're trying to make a big enclosure as well. It doesn't help that then the scale is extra big. So <laughs> the beavers do look absolutely tiny when viewing them in the viewing gallery. So that's a little bit of a shame, but at least I do add a ton of rocks and foliage. So hopefully the landscape is still quite filled out and it doesn't look totally empty. But you can see me now making the viewing gallery that I've just mentioned, obviously. And we do start off with quite a big one. We make it smaller and I've kept in quite a a lot of footage of the process of me making this as well so you'll be able to see where I change things along the way normally I edit quite strictly I only include changes that are like the finished product in my videos normally but it was quite hard to do with this one because it, it changed so much so I, I did include some of the earlier stages of this viewing gallery so hopefully that's not too tedious for you because it is quite a long process but yeah it's quite big and the interior is quite empty apart from a few in-game benches and I add some education boards but I don't really do much of them they're still quite plain and then at the end of the video I think I return and add a big planter box in the middle of this viewing gallery just to fill it out a little bit and that does sort of fill out the space but I think what I might do is once I create the entrance building for this zoo at the start of the zoo I will then create some billboards and in-game education boards and signs and other things like that to decorate some of the in interiors throughout the zoo and then in that video I might return to some of the enclosure builds like this one and add in some things like that to fill out the spaces just a little bit because yeah I was getting a bit tired doing this building and interiors aren't necessarily my biggest focus in builds so I, I wasn't feeling like the motivation to to go to the effort to do stuff like that but hopefully it looks okay and like I say I will go back and improve it with time I feel like I, I tend to do that it's quite annoying it must be quite annoying to watch these videos and for it not to be like the finished finished version of each of the enclosures but I like to let things settle and especially if you've got a big zoo project like this I like to evolve things over time and just think about things over time and, and let them get better and better so yeah it might not be perfect but hopefully it will be by the end of this series <laughs> and I'll keep you involved in the process if I make any changes I do change the color of this viewing gallery as well by the end it looks like a really bright yellow orange at the minute but we do tone it down a bit because I was just experimenting with what colour I wanted it to be but also I wanted to be able to see the different objects so 
we do change it, we do make it a bit darker just to match the fencing and the flooring. But in terms of objects I use in this viewing gallery, so the main bulk of the objects are this recolourable wooden panel piece from the aquatic pack, so I used that I think in the cougar habitat that I made a week ago. And then the other sort of main big pillar object is from the East Asian theme, that's just base game, I think it's red in game initially but you can recolour it and it's really really handy, yeah. I think it looks really good as these big timber pillars. And then the other main object really that I use is like the roofing object which is from the Australia pack, that's like the yeah, corrugated roofing object that I've just recoloured green. And I'm wondering now if I should have turned this viewing gallery into a restaurant as well or something like that, maybe a shop or something, because that would have used up the space a lot more and it would have made sense with all of the seating areas that it's got to offer, so I might do that, I might not, I'm not quite sure what I want to do. But yeah, let me know how you think I should use the space in the comments down below. But yeah, I was thinking I would just create some designs for like signs and things like that because the walls are pretty bare. And then after the viewing gallery, I move on to the Beavers Lodge. So I mentioned it a bit earlier and what I did and how I made it, but the lodge does have a sheltered area where they sleep, like I said, and it does work and they do access it and sleep in there. And there's a ton of really cute footage at the end of the babies walking around in there. And the beaver babies are so cute. I absolutely love them. But in terms of making the lodge, you'll see that I mapped out the main shape of it using the big individual trees. And then I create a small group of logs that I sort of line up vertically upwards. And then I place down that group over and over just around around the where I've sort of outlined the lodge just over and over to form the dome of the shape and then I sort of gradually change the angle as it curves around and then it sort of starts off a bit like the shape of the lodge starts off a bit odd and like lopsided so yeah it doesn't always stay that awkwardly shaped I promise. I do end up editing it a bit off camera which I usually do because it's just less pressure when I do that. It, like I usually create better things off camera to be honest but yeah I just make it a little bit neater and improve the shape of it because it was quite fiddly and the lodge as well had so many logs in it that the object count for that group was huge and it just meant by the end of it it was like really struggling to process being near that area and placing any objects down near that area so yeah it was quite fiddly so I saved you the bulk of the boring repetitive footage for that so sorry if you get a bit confused but hopefully yeah I've saved you from being bored <laughs> and then the next thing I make is the beavers dam which I think worked quite well although like I said I would have liked it to have been a bit further upstream so I made the dam using terrain to create the levels of the the water so as if the dam had blocked the water and increased the water height behind the dam and left then a shallower section in front of the dam so that would kind of reflect what I said about the beavers changing the natural height of the water levels and I'm not sure if beaver dams completely stop water flowing in real life or if they just lessen it because surely there would be so much water build up over time that that, that couldn't be good for anyone <laughs> but who knows I don't know but our river is not completely blocked off it does continue downstream because we will have another enclosure downstream but oh well you will see that I basically just yeah like like with the lodge I just add a load of branches over and over again as you can imagine that's kind of what a dam looks like and then off camera I also add a load of those recolorable groups of rocks those items that came with the aquatic pack they're really handy I basically use them all over the landscaping just in the background I've done quite a lot of landscaping in my other builds that you will have seen for like the cougar habitat and the moose habitat so I didn't include too much of that in this video because I thought that might just be boring by now so I included a little bit just because I'm getting a bit quicker at it and you can kind of see how I'm doing things now by grouping objects and then sort of repeat placing them down and things like that it gives you an idea of what things look like when I'm done as well because you see the finished product as I'm going but yeah I did edit out quite a lot of that foliage footage so <laughs> hopefully that's a good thing and then in terms of the the dam then. I also wanted it to look like the beavers were actually adding to the dam, like adding branches and things themselves. So what I did was I hid three of their enrichment items inside the dam and then when they go to do the animation where they
they basically add branches to the little rocks within the enrichment item. It will hopefully look like the beavers are adding those branches to the dam itself. So I think I've done a good job of hiding the enrichment items within the dam and like making it look like it is actually a part of the dam. But unfortunately, I haven't yet been able to make the beavers do this. I'm gonna have one last go after I finish this voiceover and just go into the game quickly. I think the issue was, was because the enclosure is so huge and they've got so many other places to go and they just do not care about these enrichment items at all. I keep like manually placing the beavers like right on top of the enrichment items, like trying to force them to use it like over and over again. And then as soon as I do, they're just like, nah, I'm out of here. And then they just swim off in the complete opposite direction. So they're being a bit of a pain, I'm not gonna lie. But I think what I might do to try and fix that problem is just make their enclosure absolutely tiny temporarily, like fix the settings in sandbox mode so they can't escape using the invisible barrier and then set the invisible barrier around around just the enrichment items and then make their enclosure like tiny and so they have no option but to use the enrichment items <laughs> and then see what they do and if that doesn't work then I'm just giving up because honestly like I haven't got the time or the energy to just sit around and wait for these beavers to do what I want them to do <laughs> because yeah they just weren't behaving at all but yeah like I said I think it's because the enclosure was so big so we'll see there may or may not be footage at the end of this video of the beavers adding to their dam. It would be really good if we could see that, but you know, you never know. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. If I do encounter them using that object in the future when I'm making other enclosures, then I will of course include that footage in those videos. So just keep an eye out for future videos because you might get some random beaver footage. And along the same topic as well, I also promised that I was going to include some footage of the cougar babies because we didn't get any babies for my previous cougar habitat speed build. But sadly, I had to spend so much time waiting for the beavers to behave The the cougar baby grew up in that time so that's really annoying but we will just wait it, inevitably we'll have to wait for more animals in the future so I'm sure we'll get more cougar babies and I will add them to the video then when we do so <laughs> sorry about that but yeah they were also being quite fussy because like I said in the moose habitat the babies were trying to escape all the time but anyway you can see that I am now moving on to this star facilities area the exterior starts off looking absolutely hideous so ignore how it starts off looking like but then I do I, I think I change the height of it make it a little bit smaller and then I change some of the locations of the windows and the exterior it just looks a little bit lopsided at the minute but I think I remove one of the windows and it looks a little bit better and then I do try my best to add some detailing in terms of the exterior like backstage areas for this space so I use some blueprints from the gallery and and I'm absolutely useless and I've forgotten to make a list of all the people's names to credit as I'm making this voiceover but I promise that I will include all of the links to the workshop and credit all of the amazing creators in the description box below when I post this video but yeah there's so many creations on the workshop for backstage area items I was absolutely amazed by some of the stuff that people have created so I think what I use in this video is a hose pipe and then a dumpster as well and some animal cages and what looked like areas for the staff to weigh the beaver's food as well so yeah I'm really impressed with some of the stuff that's on there it's way more impressive than anything I could ever do so thank you amazing content creators for <laughs> <laughs> providing such amazing content and I know I said in my last video that I would have one star facility building for both the beavers and the moose but this area has gotten so big that I will have to add another one to the start of the zoo nearer to the moose because otherwise my poor keepers will just die of exhaustion but I did edit some of the moose enclosure off camera like I said I would I added some more rock and foliage details to the top of the hill near the bridge and neaten the pathing a little bit there because it was a little bit wonky and then I will also have to figure out a way to include some pathing to some of the power facilities that are sort of nearby the enclosures because they're all so big, these enclosures, that I've had to place them in some really random places. So you won't be able to see them in any of my videos, but it's just something that is going on in the background that's bothering me. So I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> 
because it's very annoying. But yeah, then just in terms of fencing, I use the in-game chain link barrier for the actual barriers within the enclosure. I think they look quite nice in certain contexts. Usually I'm very much against using in-game barriers, but the guests are sort of pushed back by these wooden fences that I'm placing and they line the paths that the guests sort of travel down, obviously. But then the beavers can't be contained by wooden barriers because obviously they will eat the wood. So I had to double up the fencing with these chain link fences, like I said. And I think the effect of the two fences using the chain link looks quite nice. So hopefully you like that. And then you'll also see that I've left the fence at the end of this enclosure pretty plain as well. And that's because at the end of that river where that goes, we'll be running into a new enclosure down there. So I won't deal with that barrier until I start the new enclosure. So yeah, so just ignore that. Just ignore how that looks. And that next enclosure will probably be either grey seals or possibly Californian sea lions as well, or possibly both. Let me know what your preference is down in the comments below. Grey seals I think can be found in Canada, but Californian sea lions can't. I think they live down the west coast of America and also obviously Alaska is in America, but yeah, they can be found in Alaska too. But I don't think they can be found in Canada at all, I'm assuming, but they are obviously in the new pack. So it would be really good to look at them in this zoo. But yeah, I don't know how strict you want me to be about <laughs> animals that are native to Canada, but they are technically North America. So we said we were going to include North American animals. So what do you think? Let me know what you think of either of those options down in the comments below, because we could have both and it would be quite cool to have both. But yeah, it's going to be one of those two. It's going to be the, the next enclosure in this direction. But I think in terms of my next video, I might create an arctic fox enclosure for this zoo because I really want to create like a fox and wolf area in between the mountain lions and this sort of lake area here. So in that empty patch that's currently halfway up the mountain, I want to have three enclosures for the arctic wolves, the timber wolves and the, the arctic foxes as well. And for there to be like this cave system, like a cave tunnel running in between all three enclosures that shows off like a cave shelter viewing area for each of the three animals. So that's my idea and I think that I'll, I'll try and make the arctic foxes my next build because it just comes with a new pack. So let me know what you think of that down in the comments below. I actually managed to talk a lot in this video, perhaps even to the end of the video. We see how well I managed to edit it. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say in terms of this voiceover. I would also love to know how you're getting on with a new pack, like what your favourite animals are, any of your favourite animations or what enclosures you've created so far I would love to know and what your thoughts are of this zoo so far whether you're enjoying Pine Springs Park or not let me know down in the comments below so as always if you like this video please like comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching I will see you next time bye guys
Let's go, 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 let's go